السلام عليكم أنا مايشا اللمكي Staff Nurse at Surgical Unit Today I will demonstrate how to apply vacuum assisted closure dressing for a patient with a wound stage 2 and above. Vacuum assisted closure vac therapy is a system that uses a controlled negative pressure of vacuum to promote healing of certain types of wound. Before you start the procedure, you should know the following information. Vac therapy must be initiated by physician, surgeon, or wound care nurse. A septic technique must be employed at all times during this procedure. Vac foam dressing should not be placed directly on open organ, blood vessels, anastomotic sites, and nerves. Vac dressing must be changed every 48 to 72 hours as per manufacturer recommendations. Before going to the patient, Prepare the following items. Dressing set, normal saline, vac dressing kit, vac canister, sterile scissors, sterile gauze bag, sterile gloves, clean gloves, and vac bomb. First of all, you have to identify the patient using three Vs, then explain to the patient the procedure. Check any analgesia required and provide privacy. Perform hand hygiene prior to procedure. Open the dressing bag. Stick the yellow disposable bag. Pour normal saline. Open the vac dressing kit. Sterile scissor and sterile gauze. Wear clean gloves to remove the old dressing. Assess the wound for appearance, drainage, and surrounding tissues. Discard the soiled dressing and gloves. Perform hand washing. Wear sterile gloves. Arrange the dressing table. Clean the wound with normal saline or irrigate if the wound is deep. Clean the area around the skin with normal saline. Dry the surrounding skin with sterile gauze. Measure the wound size. Cut the foam to the shape and measurement of the wound using sterile scissors. Place the foam in the wound. Foam should fill the wound but not cover intact surrounding skin. Cover the foam with transparent occlusive air permeable adhesive dressing. This dressing provides a seal allowing the application of the negative pressure. Cut a 2 cm round hole in the middle to provide an area for connecting the vac tube for negative pressure suction. Apply over the hole in the adhesive dressing the vac adhesive pad with tubing arranged in a direction and position that's comfortable for the patient. Attach the other end of the vac tubing to the vac canister. Remove the sterile gloves. Perform hand hygiene. Put on clean gloves. Attach the canister on the vac machine. Turn on the vacuum unit. Set vac therapy to recommended pressure according to physician or wound care nurse order. Observe the shrinking of the foam. Shrinkage confirms a good seal, allowing the accurate application of pressure and treatment. Discard used materials and gloves as per waste disposable policy. Perform hand hygiene after the procedure. Document the procedure in electronic patient record. Before ending this video, remember the following points. Check vac pressure and observe wound dressing every shift to ensure vac therapy functions well and no fresh blood drainage. Respond to audible alarms and troubleshooting as needed to prevent any problems with vac machine. Measure and record the amount of drainage every shift if needed. Provide patient and family education on safety measures during vac therapy to provide the information about the safe and effective method to maintain the medical equipment. We reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching.